Morning, Windsor Heights. Business meeting come to order. Roll call. Susan? Here. Alfredo? Yes. Mike Jones? Yes. Entry friends? Yes. We understand that Joseph is a long way away and won't be participating, so we're on our own. <coughs> Please join me in Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Motion to approve the agenda. Second. Roll call. Harms? Yes. Lafredo? Yes. Uh, Mike Jones? Yes. 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 Next item on the agenda is public forum. Time set aside for comments from the public on topics of city business other than those that are on the agenda. No action will be taken. Come to the podium, state your name and address for the record. Keep your comments to no more than five minutes, please. Warren Campbell, 1004 63rd Street. Uh, with an update from the Chamber, just a reminder of some of our upcoming events. 2020, we're really focusing on more events and uh, benefits for our members, so there you keep seeing me talking about all the fun stuff we've got going on. Reminder that the 26th is, is uh, breakfast that Joseph is speaking at. Um, that starts at 745 at Gilroy's. March 18th is our after hours networking, 430 to 630 at Gilroy's. Um, both of those events are free. It's just, you know, your food and drink on your own, so no, no charge to attend those. Um, also, on March 26th uh, is Celebrate Windsor Heights. I know I've mentioned this before. We've talked about how your ticket does include one free drink that is beer or wine only. Um, but as a reminder that this is uh, a celebration of all things Windsor Heights. It's not just for businesses and business owners. So we, of course, welcome uh, the public to... Um, to join us in celebrating Windsor Heights, where we'll recognize our um, citizen of the year and the small and large businesses of the year as well. So it's a, it's a fun night. Um, so invite your neighbors. I'd like to see a lot of people there. You can uh, get your ticket online at windsorheightschamber.com. Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> Next item is the consent agenda. Any item can be removed for separate consideration. Move to accept. So I'll move. Second. Roll call. Mike Jones? Yes. Harms? Yes. Lafredo? Yes. 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 Next item is consideration of the second reading of Ordinance 20 01, which is raising the tobacco age to 21. Second. Any discussion? There being none, roll call. Arms? Yes. Scarius? Yes. Lafredo? Yes. And Jones? Yes. Next item is consideration of waiving the third reading of that same ordinance. Is there a motion to do that? Or? Yes. Second. Roll call. Lafredo? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Scaries? Yes. Joe? Yes. Next item is consideration of resolution 2020-18. Resolution setting the date for public hearing on proposal to enter into general obligation, corporate purpose, and refunding loan agreements and to borrow money therein in the principal amount not to exceed $8,500,000. Uh, move to accept the public hearing. Second. Any comment? Well, I just comment that Susan and I got in and talked with Mark and Michelle today. Spent about 45 minutes with them. And uh, it's a lot of money we're talking about here. <laughs> uh, what is it, about 16 million? And so we want clarification on how that worked and the bonding and the rates and, and the longevity of the bond. So we've got our questions answered. And we appreciate Mark and, and Rachel on that. Any other comments? I'll just say, um, 
it might be helpful leading up to the public hearing, which will be set for what? That's me. A second. Okay. Um, you read this and you have no idea what it says. Um, on the, I'm referring to on the agenda. I mean, you have literally no idea what this means. Um, that's why I emailed you. I was just like, what does this mean? I understand technically what it means, but I'm, you know, what does it mean in layman's terms? And I think maybe if uh, there's some, and I saw that there you had written a letter or a statement or, you know, explaining what these things are for, and I think that leading up to the next meeting, it'd be very helpful if people understood that that is actually what the public hearing was on, you know, that this 6A, uh, the 8.5 is for all of these street projects and everything coming with it and the refinancing of the old fund, mm -hmm. and then that the 6B is for asking for the $7.5 million for university. I think mm -hmm. now that has been done, <laughs> but leading up to today, I don't think it was. So. If it, um, I think, I assume the newsletter will go out before then, um, you know, so if that could all be communicated appropriately leading up to that hearing, that would be. I don't think the newsletters are going yeah. out. The newsletter is going to go out the first Thursday of the month, so th it'll be Thursday the 5th. Okay. Well, as long as there's Facebook messaging and mm -hmm. all that. We can include a write-up in the packet, so when the packet's posted, people will be able to find it in the packet. I think you can even just write it here too. Or, I mean, you can write that this is for you know, streets projects or University Avenue. Yeah, and, and just for well, well, provides for clarification. We've Transparency. Got, have you seen the news that update that came out late this afternoon? I have not seen anything. Okay. <laughs> well, this is city plans to issue up to sixteen million dollars in new debt, and it explains it a lot better here than maybe what we were talking about up until what two o'clock this afternoon. Not that. Well, but you have an agenda here, and I think it's just, I think that's Mike's request. <coughs> yeah. Dave, did that go to everybody we have emails for? Yep. It okay. goes to everybody who's on a newsletter. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what I was going to suggest. Thank you. It was also posted on Facebook, too. So, thank you to Whitney for putting it in all those places okay. and on the website. So, and thank you, folks, for uh, not may or making it that we didn't do a good job on that and we need to make it clear. So that's part of the result of trying to get it clear. Well, I think also, Dave, at the public hearing, there'll be a summary of what the point are, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can do that. So yeah, we can list on the agenda itself more information about what the money will be used for in just probably five, six, eight words. It wouldn't hurt. Okay. Yes, we will do that. Some people only get this far, right? I mean, this is... We actually get these descriptions from John Dano. So we take what he says and just put it in what, as he says it. Next time we'll, we'll fix that. Right. Right. Any further discussion? Roll call. Burns? Yes. <coughs> Scary? Yes. Lebredo? Yes. And Jones? Yes. Along that same line, consideration resolution 2020-19, setting the date for the public hearing on the proposal of the general obligation urban renewal loan agreement and to borrow money there under the principal amount not to exceed $7,500,000. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Basically, I think it's the same. Ditto. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Roll call. Arms? Yes. Jones? Yes. Yes. Lafredo? Yes. I heard the comment was the whole package is a lot of money, but it, oh, yeah. it, it's, it gives a cost value for time to so, kick, the, kick it down the road far enough. Far enough. Yeah. It'll be a new road, don't worry. It's about time. Wow. It's about time. <laughs> I mean, uh, next item consideration resolution 2020 20. Approving the purchase of an asphalt heater from Tri-State Truck Equipment in the amount of fifteen thousand eight hundred and twenty. Paul, well, uh, this purchase to be funded uh, through ATEs as set forth uh, last fall. I got quotes. I got a quote from a local vendor, and it seemed a bit high, so I looked uh, in the view room as well as in uh, Dixon, Illinois, and St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, the best price, the best price versus mileage is in the Buke. Um, it's like. 
I think it's like forty dollars cheaper to go to Dixon, but it's quite a bit farther than that. So uh, my recommendation is that we proceed with uh, the purchase from Tri-State Truck Equipment. Mm -hmm. I did reach out to our local vendor and ask them if they would lower their price or if they can be more competitive, and I did not hear anything back. So that's why this is taking so long to get back to it. Uh, I've been trying for over two months to get hold of this guy. Long enough. So any questions you might have about this piece of equipment, I'll do uh, my best to answer them. I'm assuming this allows you to do like the hot patch stuff? Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, I think it's a way to explain it is it's the way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, is you can take it off and put it back on. And, yep. Yeah. I think that's more yeah. versatile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 For sure. Does this go before the Public Safety Committee? Or, not public safety. <laughs> it works. Uh, no. It's been a long day. <laughs> Fair it, enough. It, uh, no, I was just curious. I didn't know you. I hope it works for quite a bit for the construction goes on. Right. Okay. Good. Get to room. Yeah. So, thank you. All right. Move to approve. Second. Roll call. Arms? Yes. Jones? Yes. Lafredo? Yes. Scary? Yes. Next item of reports. Susan? Michael? No. Nope. Michael? Three? Um, Mark, Susan, and I met um, with Metronet um, ago. Um, yeah, we could go. And so they are a fiber um, uh, company that uh, can come in and work with cities. And so they are expanding, exploring here in the greater metro area, having conversations with. Um, Folks, uh, they reached out to me, and um, I set it up with um, Susan uh, on the development committee because Joseph wasn't available, and Mark joined us. So um, I think we're going to find a time to um, have them maybe come and have a conversation and talk about um, if we might be a viable community um, to have fiber um, options with them. So I'm excited about it. Yeah. Glad you're excited. I am because yeah. I don't have working internet most of the time. <laughs> I'd like to have it in my home. Very good. Uh, Metro uh, Oasis tomorrow night, and um, thank you to Ms. Lofredo for taking that on. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday. I told you my brain's not working tonight, so I apologize. <laughs> I've got it covered. Thank you. <clears throat> Mark? To the rental inspection proposal were received, and then I expect to have a recommendation for one of them at the next meeting. Uh, bids for the college, Allison and 69th Street work are due Thursday, and those are, those are local openings, so we will know that number right away. Bids for the University Avenue work will be taken by the DOT tomorrow. Uh, their process sometimes takes a couple days, so we may not know tomorrow what it is, but I hope by the end of the week we'll know. Um, the city's contract with the previous auditor has expired, and RFP for a new audit firm was sent to six firms, and responses are due on the 25th. An RFP for consulting services was sent to 11 firms, and those responses are due on the 26th, both of which next week. Uh, I spent some time on nuisance abatement last week, and uh, there are five different addresses in progress. A total of nine addresses were checked, and no further action is required for these. Three of those four were people who called in about cars parked on the grass, and I don't doubt when those people called that they were there, but when I went there, there were no cars on the grass. So whoever was doing it, their cars off the grass between the time those folks registered their item and the time I got there. Uh, and Boltland Bank is doing a presentation to the MPO on the 26th for the city's 73, 73rd Street funding application. So. Justin's going to get us out. How much money do you get? $10 million was an hour. Way more. You guys look like twins back there now. <laughs> you mean that? <laughs> <laughs> you Tommy? Yeah. 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 You have it for less time. He's got it. Mark, any update on the 6030 University of Property? I have not heard any more than what I sent out in the email on Friday. So I'm just kind of waiting. Okay. So, thank you. I think the public safety report will speak for itself. Dalton, have you got anything more to add on yours? It's a written report. If you got any questions, let me know. Okay. Okay. Next item is move into closed session pursuant to Iowa Code 21.5.
one I to evaluate the professional competency of an individual whose appointment, hiring, performance, or discharge is being considered when necessary, and that individual request closed session. Motion. Second. Roll call. Arms. Yes. Yes. Lafredo. Yes. Jones. Yes. 